Okay, people, sorry. So let's try this again. Concept video, concept training. Uh, what was it? Uh, inst um, uh, impulse and stay. The difference can be which one does your dog have can be discovered in just a matter of minutes. I like to do, depending on the dog's age and the dog's skill level and the dog breed, I would change the number, but loosely speaking, instead of me making the video longer and going through every breed, three to five minutes. Um, um, stay for three minutes, impulse for five minutes. Um, can you get your dog to sit down, lay down, or just stand up even? and wait for you to give the next command for three minutes and can you walk away get him about a one two minute break or just come back later on in the day and start it all over and get him to do the same thing for five minutes this will let you know if your dog is acting off of more on impulse or if your dog is uh, respecting you as pack leader and a few other things. It lets you know a whole bunch of things. But uh, that's what I want to focus on right now. And uh, like I said, it's more than one thing you can discover. It's, 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 but I'm only speaking on a few aspects, a couple of things. So have your dog sit, for example. And then tell him to lay down. Depending on, I'm mean, excuse me. Tell him to wait. No, I'm jumping ahead of myself. Have your dog sit down, for example, and then just walk away. If your dog can't sit down the three minutes we already know he can't do five minutes and then let me know other results so then I can tell you what needs to be done if your dog because some people are gonna say well, my dog sat there the whole time some people say my dog sat there the whole time some people are gonna say my dog uh, sat there until I looked away some people sat some people gonna say my dog sat there until I walked away. My dog uh some people gonna say my dog sat there until he got distracted by something else. So this would be a longer video if I gotta tell you all of the, you know, if your telephone rings and you know <laughs> so just let me know and I can respond to you in a comment session or whatever. But um uh Basically, we want to just see if your dog can pass or not. Will he pass or fail? <clears throat> and then, but for you master phoners out there, you need to repeat. If the dog passes, we need to repeat. You need to do them all. Can your dog stand up for three minutes? Can your dog sit down for three minutes? Because a lot of people will say, my dog laid down. He passed the test. And then uh, I'll get there, and I'll tell the dog to stand up for 30 seconds, and he can't do it. So let me know what y'all think.